Hello everyone, I'm finally getting around to editing a little bit more vlog footage. I just wanted to fill you in and let you guys know that this is from a little while ago. Um, I've still got footage from me getting my bridal trials done as well. I've just not had time to sit down and actually film a vlog in a little bit. There's been so much happening in life. Um, wedding planning is exhausting. I've been obviously planning one of my best friend's hens, which was last weekend, so that's one thing ticked off the box. I've got mine shortly, Hamish is, is surely obviously there's not much to do with me, so that's fine. Um, we unfortunately lost a family member. Um, we've been busy with Exo Beauty and getting out pre-orders. Life's just been crazy, so I do apologise. Um, I've just been trying to make sure I've been getting up my two beauty videos a week and haven't really given this channel much love lately so hopefully you guys enjoy this video side note if you're wondering what's up with my eye um i got like a full-on eczema rash thing i don't know if it's from like stress or hay fever or what but yeah that's made makeup wearing real fun as well but yeah i just was watching back what i just said and you can see this big like thing on my eye that's what it is <laughs> i'm so sorry life's hectic and i've been trying not to beat myself up over it i've been quite active on my instagram stories so if you guys want to follow me over there feel free that's probably where yeah i'm the most active um yeah other than that i hope you guys have a fantastic day sending you guys my love um and i will yeah be back with fresh new content shortly i just haven't even picked up my camera to vlog until I'm up to date with all of this older footage. All right, pumpkin and meal prep. Also, our dishwasher broke. I'm waiting for a man to come. <laughs> Things set. Me and Hamish and friends tried fixing it. Well, actually, that's a lie. I didn't try. My friends and Hamish tried to fix it, and we couldn't. We gave it a whole clean, cleaned out everything, plunged it, all sorts of stuff. It's just giving us a little error code on there. Um, so I reckon something's actually faulty. So we've got someone to come look. So we've had to like empty out the friggin' cupboards and shit. Um, so yeah, that's cool. The cleaning stuff, like, there's just shit everywhere. But I still need to meal prep. That's my leftover from lunch from last time. Um, yeah, let's do it. Alright, so the time is finally coming. I'm going to clear out all of these bags. Um, I've got the sunglasses up here. I don't really know what I'm going to put up here, but basically I'm going to fill up all these drawers with workout gear. Because um, I've run out of room in my other drawer, and I'd ideally like to have all the stuff from my other drawer in this drawer anyway, and just stack it up with leggings and workout tops and keep it separate from my other clothing, because it's kind of like what I wear the most. And I just hate sometimes in the morning when I'm like trying to find stuff and because it doesn't all fit in the drawer. I'm like rummaging trying to find a friggin sports bra that matches the pants and just stuff like that. So I'm going to empty all this out and I'll probably donate a bunch of bags that I don't use anymore as well because there's just tons. Good morning. I'm in my bedroom. It's a mess. Today I have my wedding trials. My friend Michaela is just arriving as you can hear maybe from Zeus barking a lot. I thought I'd take you along with me. All right. So today I have my wedding hair and makeup trials and I'm taking one of my bestest, bestest friends and one of my bridesmaids, Michaela. You guys may have seen her over on my vlog channel. We went to Bali together last year. We went to Germany together. We've done heaps of fun things together and she's just one of my best friends. So very excited. We're going to do bridesmaid and bridesmaid hair makeup. Wait. Bridesmaid makeup, bridesmaid hair on her, bridal makeup, and bridal hair on me, and I don't really know what I'm doing, honestly. But we're going to see Annalie, makeup Annalie, and my hairstylist little like business name is Dee Dee and Daff, and I'll link both of them down below just in case you want to check out their work and I don't know if you're looking for a makeup artist as well. So I think Dee Dee and Daff is based in Hamilton, and um, Annalie's in New Plymouth. 
and they're gonna travel to Tauranga and do my wedding day makeup. So I just thought I'd take you along and like I've asked in LA if she'd mind if I brought up some memory cards because she's already got her own set up. She also does YouTube and like Instagram and stuff just like I do. So I was like, oh, do you mind if I just bring my memory cards? She's like, absolutely. And I can just use her set up. Like how perfect is that? And I thought it'd be so fun because I don't know when the last time was that you guys would have seen someone else do my makeup. Now the thing about that is, you know, obviously I know my makeup best. I know my face the best and me and her have both like discussed this. We wanted to do a trial just so that I could get a feel for how my makeup would look if she did it or if I wanted her to say like pop in and help me do like my eyeliner or my contour or something on the day if I'm feeling a little bit nervous and shaky because I am planning on doing my own makeup. I'm just thinking I might want a little bit of help. So I thought it'd be a good idea just to get a trial done so that yeah I could just feel comfortable in what she was doing and know what she was doing she could like practice on my face and be comfortable also she does the most stunning makeup she's so talented so I've hired her to do all of my bridesmaids makeup um so yeah I'm just going to show you like her work I'm going to show me getting a little makeover and getting my hair done um I don't know what I'm doing either I don't know if I want to do a really cute voluminous bun kind of vibe or if I want to do like hair down with waves or if I want to do a low ponytail or like oh gosh I don't know what to do you guys I'm so nervous I feel like I'm just gonna be missing the round like they'll be like hey so what are we doing today I'll be like I don't know hopefully they've got some really good ideas too I'm a big ideas girl I like it when people come to me with their ideas and I'm just like oh yeah that sounds good like I don't really like making I don't know I do like making decisions but do you like get my vibe like I kind of just need some like pushing in the right direction sometimes. So hopefully they like will look at me and be like, oh, this would look amazing. I know what kind of makeup I like. Very similar to when I did my triangle makeup. I mean, very similar to when I did my triangle wedding dresses video and I did my makeup. You guys saw that makeup, like I was obsessed. So I really think that's probably gonna be my wedding day makeup. I'll link that video down below. So yeah, uh, I've got to drive to New Plymouth now. It's like three hours, so I better get going. Here's my outfit. By the way, this jacket is boohoo. My little top is Naked Fashion. Is that what it's called? N-A-K-D. These jeans are from Fashion Nova. They're pretty old, but they're probably still there. I'm just going to chuck on some chill shoes. So yeah, I can't find the memory card anywhere with the footage. I don't know. I don't know if it corrupted or something. I'm not sure. We did have issues um, with my memory cards and Emily's camera. But if I do find the footage, I'll add it into like a future vlog. I've literally gone through about 12 different memory cards here. Hopefully one day we can find it in like the bottom of the handbags. I might have checked them all, but you know. Um, but I still want to just add that in just because a lot of people are asking if I'm going to do my own makeup for the wedding or if I'm having a makeup artist and all that. So yeah, I'll also pop up a couple of pictures of how I looked as well um, as like a sneak peek. We're still going to make some changes, but just as like a little sneak peek because I love you guys. Holy frickin' moly, I'm surprised my camera is not dead. So, for the last couple weeks, it's been absolutely hectic. I've had a million things happening, as well as the launch of my new palette, which you guys have probably already seen. It's already on my page and everything. Um, we've just had the long weekend. Yesterday was a day off. Today, I wake up. I don't know what it is, but my anxiety was, like, through the roof. Last week, I actually went on, like... I remember like Tuesday or Wednesday last week I went to at the doctor and we are running more tests to do with like my thyroid and everything because I honestly think my thyroid medication is really off right now um, and we're going to check heaps of hormones and see if I need to go see a specialist. We found a couple of specialists. Um, I've been to one in Auckland but we found another one in Wellington just because it's a little bit easier to get to Wellington like I can kind of drive there in a day and it's like not so major I don't have to fly or anything like that. But yeah, like randomly I just wake up and I'm just like, whew, and I went to the gym and I just felt really overwhelmed, managed to just like cry it out like in the shower and then went to film, I was feeling better, the lighting was trash and I low-key forgot, I got a text last night saying, um, don't forget your brow appointment tomorrow. I look at my calendar, holy crap you guys, I don't even know if I've talked to you about this yet. I'm getting my eyebrows tattooed and boom it's here like what the heck and then I was looking online it's like you can't work out for two weeks afterwards I'm like shit can't get them wet can't sweat now I'm like oh god so went to the chemist grabbed what I needed I needed to get numbing cream and some like aftercare things as well like Vaseline and like unscented baby wipes I don't know I got these ones at the chemist this 
Elma stuff. And I was like, shit, I haven't vlogged in ages because there's just been a million different things going on, you know. I'm so busy um, and I need to vlog this because it's interesting. Hello, baby. What you doing? Oh, I know. His blanket's fallen off the couch, so he's waiting for me to help him. Do you wanna do you wanna have some help? Hey, my dean. I said no, this sounds like if my camera just before. I'm just editing today's video as well. Ugh. Today is just one of those like chaotic energy days, I think. Where it's just like I don't know. It's like Monday I just on Tuesday. Come on, baby. Sit down. Good boy. I freaking love you with my whole heart. I do. I love you so much. So yeah, it'll be interesting. I need to go do that blood test. There was no way in hell I was doing it today, feeling the way I did. So I'm gonna do it later this week. I feel like today is just overwhelming because like stuff's just popped up that I okay that I hadn't remembered about basically. And something I don't want to talk about it yet, but just with like family happened. I think overnight and so I might have to take a trip to the hospital as well I don't really know how like if it's like a major or if it's not or anything I'm not gonna talk about it just like trying to stay positive about it, you know so yeah anyway in like an hour from now I'm gonna have some toast beforehand because I don't want to like pass out while I'm getting my eyebrows scratched on <laughs> really tattooed um, so I have some toast to get some food in me, I've only had a smoothie today. And then um, I need to like numb my eyebrows for like an hour before my appointment. Don't even ask about the fake tan. We're trying fake tan formulas and hello. <laughs> Went bright orange. Oh, bright orange. Other than all of this craziness, the weekend was quite nice. It was nice just to like switch off. I basically just gamed and saw a friend and did my wedding invites and just kind of like slept a lot played some stardew valley like just tried to do heaps of like chill stuff because we've been so busy hence like the lack of vlogs i'm so sorry yeah, anyway i'm gonna continue vlogging for a little bit then we'll come back make some toast i think i want avocado toast hopefully we've got some ripe ones i think my avocados came last week so we should be good today's weather is just trash too and i hate when you're already feeling a little bit like funny and then you look outside and it's miserable weather and I've got a million things to do today and I wish I didn't because it's one of those days where I just like completely tap out and be like, you know what, I'm just going to go to bed and just like chill and read a book. But we can't. So it's just miserable. Like it's hot AF, muggy AF and cloudy and shit weather raining. Hi baby boy. Right, he wants me to come hang with him. Come on, let's go. So I bought this from the chemist at the pharmacy. Um... And it's like mummy. Do I really just walk into that with my funny bone? <laughs> so I'm supposed to put this on my eyebrows, but first I feel like I should probably just wipe off the makeup off my eyebrows first. I'm assuming. Shit, I've not finished my smoothie and I need to tidy up so bad. This is the most flattering angle I've ever seen. And then I'm gonna make some toast. I'm so excited. So the brows we're gonna do are um I think like more of a what are they called like the ones where they're completely filled in rather than microbladed because my eyebrows are like low-key like all the tattoos are just like messed up and old so I think it's just gonna be easier to do like an ombre brow or like something like that rather than doing the whole like individual hairs um, but I don't want to go too dark or too bold because obviously like I like to wear makeup and then I also like to wear no makeup and I don't want my eyebrows to look crazy if I've got no makeup on. I'd rather be able to like, you know, add in darker brow gel and stuff to darken them up if I want to. So I guess me and Emma will talk about that when I get there. I go to Emma Dolan in Palmerston North and I started out just a normal customer, paid for my own crap, you know, and she was really nice and she was like, I would just love to do your brows as a gift. So. That was so nice of her because I already like told her prior, like, you know, prior to it all when she said she was doing training. I'm like, cool, you can do mine. She was like, are you shitting me? I'm like, yes, please. She was like, I don't know if I'm like prepared to do that because that's scary. I was like, bitch, I'm just a normal person. It's fine. She literally will not be able to screw it up because she's so good at brows. I'm trying to find a spoolie right now. 
Like I told her, I'm like, you were so freaking good at brows. Like her tints are amazing. Her makeovers are amazing. She does like makeup. So if you guys are ever on the hunt for like someone to do your ball makeup or whatever in Palmerston North, she's your girl, but she's always booked out like a million years in advance. So getting quick. You know, if you put a ball next year, book her in now. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's amazing. So, so nice of her to say that she wanted to do them for me because I would have paid anyway and she knows that, but she's just nice. So that's going to be so fun. There's my alarm. For me to remember to numb my eyebrows. And one hour to go, guys. One hour to go. I'm just editing my declutter at the moment too. So I don't even know if I'm get, gonna get that up today. I should have edited it yesterday, but I was like, you know what? I'm having a day off. Because last week we were so busy packing orders and everything. And I was just like, you know what? Like, it's fine. I'm just gonna have a day off and people will understand. But now I feel guilty. <sighs> so yeah, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'll definitely get it up tomorrow at least. Surely. I should have just not done any makeup today, but then I didn't want to go and and get my brows done and not have any other makeup on to be honest i'm gonna go back in with my foundation which is just the it cosmetics cc cream today and just put that around the edges so that they don't look as bad i've got false eyelashes on it'll be interesting to see if i freaking cry them off by the end of it because even though i use numbing cream like every time i get my brows done like i still feel it a bit seems like a weird thing you can just buy from the chemist like i thought it'd be like a prescription thing or something i don't know is that weird I suppose not like I mean I don't know I hear of people using this before they get like proper tattoos I've never done that actually I have never numbed my skin before getting a regular tattoo only ever my brows and it can definitely be tender it's not like it's excruciating or anything it's just like tender yeah I'm pretty sure I've logged my previous brow tattoos as well if you guys want to check it out um, when I went over to Sabina and the Gold Coast, like, I think one of the reasons I was so flustered is, like, I haven't done this myself before, like, over there they do it in, like, the waiting room, because you turn up, like, an hour early or whatever, and you just sit there while they have the numbing stuff on you, whereas Emma just has to do it before you go, which I guess is way more, like, um, appropriate for time, and it might have something to do with, like, the COVID regulations and stuff too, so people aren't just, like, sitting around in the salon, because they ask you not to bring people as well to keep it more hygienic and all of that all right is that enough oh God, I don't know. i'm gonna google it i'm gonna like put this on start glad wrap it up and google it i might add a little bit more <laughs> like right beforehand too okay back to a nice angle is that enough i don't know by the way my lashes today are flutter and my eyeshadow is my new palette the native Florin Fauna Bakes of Beauty. This is to apply one gram, that doesn't really help me. Like how the heck much is one gram? Anyways, I really overdid it with the Glad Wrap. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more and re-Glad Wrap, you know, in maybe like 45 minutes. I'll just like, like surely it's okay to add a little bit more. Well, as I may pass out, I'm scared. I'm gonna use this whole avocado because I'm not having eggs with it. Um, and it's kind of small. Like it's it's a baby avocado. I wanted a bigger one, but my big ones are not ripe, so this shall it do. And I saw this on Jazz Hands Instagram story. Vegemite and avocado. I did try it with Hamish the other day, and it's so nice. Or like Vegemite Marmite, whatever you want, by the way. These leggings are from White Fox Boutique and this top here I think is Ruby. I have it been so bad. I have completely not done any meal prep for like the last two or three weeks. Like I was doing so good and then oh, life and I should have just done it because then it makes it easier to eat throughout the day and eat the right things and it's just not happened. I've been eating crappy and then I've not been eating often enough or eating enough and it's just like this big old terrible habit. So um, I think we're just going to start doing like salads again for now until 
we have a bit more spare time and well it's not even that like I do have some spare time like I said yesterday I just chilled it's laziness too you feel Play. Literally, like I like checked earlier. I'm like, it says it's got three bars now. Look, it's blinking. And now it's got, oh my god, honestly. <laughs> it's right, I'll do it on my phone. I'll just insert oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to take off your MLI cream. I'll mix up yep. your and stuff first, then I'll take off your MLI cream. Um, have a look, see if anything like needs, you know, balancing out or whatever. Yeah. And then um, I'll get into it. So it won't be. Um, painful it shouldn't be too painful because your MLI cream will be quite fresh if I was doing like a whole map and stuff you know it wouldn't be as fresh yeah um and then every time I'm not tattooing a brow it will have my numbing cream on it which okay. is double the strength of that so oh, sure. it will just okay, get cool. number and number as time goes on okay I'll go over each eyebrow about three to four times depending um and I'm using like a real tiny little needle so it will be um like a little bit more natural do you know what I mean yeah I'm gonna try and keep it as natural as I possibly cool. can yeah because um, I don't like them looking too crazy yeah, when I'm not wearing yeah, makeup as yeah. well I don't want them to be like real bold either. yeah cool um like I said I just want it to look like a nice wash of tint behind yeah my eyebrows. perfect um and the tattooing process will probably take me like 45 minutes cool um cool. yeah so you shouldn't have to I'm wondering if my eyelash is gonna fall off we will nah. soon so I'll, 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 I'll be trying to be careful <laughs> you know, if my eyes like... will like all watery and the lash just like falls off <laughs> oh no um <laughs> I just looked for, oh, I'm shaking a little bit. That's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do you like? Yes. Okay, that's good. No, okay. I wasn't even expect, I wish I got my full reaction just there. I wasn't even <laughs> expecting to love them this much. Okay, already. Right. Oh, that makes me so happy. We're still going, but <laughs> my camera died. So we do a few layers there. Yeah. So we've done about three layers on this and about <laughs> the same on this. I'm just gonna go over this one a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna see if out. we can film it. I might shake a little bit. Yeah, no, you're all good. I definitely can't feel anything now. Oh, that's good. Is that numbing cream? Yeah. I feel like it soaks in better. Yeah, once like the skin's really broken? Start. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember that when I got them microbladed, mm -hmm. like the first ones were the worst. So sore, right? Yeah. This is like yeah. solid at least half. Oh, in terms of yeah, pain, pain, like yeah. compared to microblading. Yeah. I hate some people like actually fall asleep, which I'm like, oh my oh, god. Oh really? How could you fall asleep? <laughs> but heaps of people do. So it must be like, you know, quite Yeah, painless. not too bad. Yeah. That's why I put off getting mine done for years because yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so sore and then I finally got them done. I was like, man, yeah, I really wish I had done that. You know? Yeah, hard so, yeah. They are looking so good. So good. So nice and sharp, eh? Yeah. So yeah, they'll fade up to like probably about 30% and they'll okay. shrink as well. So I feel like shit, these are quite big. Yeah. Um, like you lose a bit of the tail mm -hmm. usually, so I've brought it down just a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good we can it's just dark and yeah. the Yeah. But I'd rather they be like this than scary. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to go too dark straight away and yeah. then be like, oh shit, I yeah. look crazy when I'm not yeah, wearing any exactly. makeup. Because my face is so pale too, mm. so like, they just end up standing out too much. Yeah. I reckon this is like the perfect colour for your roots. Yeah. And it will look warm in tone until it heals. Yeah. Um, that's because of that orange that I talked to you about, but yeah. it will ash out. Oh, shaking. I love how pink my forehead is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, from all the pressing. Um, did you have a good read over the before and after here? Yeah, I've got the baby wipes yeah. and Vaseline. Cool. But I just need to read it again because like, all good. yeah. So we give you like a, um, a little aftercare pack as well. Cool. To take away. <laughs> they look so good. They look so fresh, eh? They really just look freshly tinted. Yeah, like exactly. Yeah. So they will fade out obviously, but that's what the touch yeah. up's for. So nice. So when you're wiping, you're going to wipe this way and then that way. Okay. Um, and then Vaseline, which I'll show you how to do when you hop up. That's just to stop any like crusting. So what we're trying to do with the aftercare is make sure that they don't scab. Okay. Because we don't want scabby brows. Cool. We just want... So you can imagine when they're like laminated, how good, you know, fresh yeah. laminated. Like it just looks like micro blading over, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So pretty. Um... Okay, you can jump up when you're ready. All right, so I'm home and I need to charge my vlog camera, but um, I'm just gonna do the aftercare. So I thought I'd show you. There it is. I've got my tripod. All right, so every 15 minutes, 
So it's been about 15 minutes and now I just got home a few minutes ago. It's about a 10 minute drive. So we'll call that 15. So got these water wipes from the chemist, but it's just fragrance free wipes. Um, I think it says in the aftercare, something like that. I checked before I bought these. I think this is right. One way, back the other way. That way. And then a tiny amount of uh, Vaseline. Apply that. It's a little bit weird to do currently because I can't really feel my eyebrows still. So the pain was fine. I felt a little bit stingy on the left eye for some reason. Um, apparently that's pretty common. Like one side hurting a little bit more. But I felt a little bit stingy like the first pass. But then the second pass was fine. And then flip it and then just take off any excess. You just want a thin layer, she said. So hopefully that's what I'm supposed to do. So I've got to do that every 15 minutes for the first hour. And then I think hourly or something like that. I need to check. But anyway, I've set another alarm on my phone. Um, overall, I'm obsessed with how they look. They just kind of look like I've had a tint, but they're not so harsh that like, if I'm not wearing any makeup, they'll stick out like a sore thumb kind of thing. Like they still look really pretty and not too dark or anything. Um, they will fade obviously once healed. So when we go out for my touch up, which I think is in like eight weeks or six weeks, I can't remember, I've got it locked in already. But when I go for my touch up, we can always darken them a little bit if um, by the time it heals, I'm like, oh, could probably go a bit, bit darker or whatever. We can do that. Um, and yeah, I think you might have heard she said they'll shrink a little wee bit. So who knows? Um, but yeah, first impressions, obsessed. And I'm so happy I did it. I was quite nervous just because, you know, anything semi-permanent is nerve-wracking. You know, tattooing and stuff. I was nervous for my micro-bladed ones as well. Like, super nervous. So, yep. Very happy with my choice. If you guys like them, if you don't, then oh well, they're done now. What are you going to do about it? She said that they might end up a little bit, like after the first one before we touch them up, maybe a little bit um, like patchy because obviously I've already got microblading underneath. So we'll see how that heals. But um, it won't be a bad thing anyway because it just looks like hair strokes really. But my microblading tattoos were quite orangey. So it'll be interesting to see how they heal um because yeah they do pull very warm and you always want to add a little bit of warmth to your brows no matter what because otherwise they can look like gray and obviously i've got like a warm hair color that's my natural hair color there um under here it's like very warm so i need a little bit of warmth but she just didn't add as much warmth as normal because i already pull warmer naturally like with my skin tone um and like the redness and stuff so by the way on my lips is Mario lip pencil my lashes are flutter by the way if you love Empami check out Medulla in any way she sells exo beauty too now